Hello, ancestors. What is the energy about Lake Holiday? What is this about today, about Lake Holiday? What is this going on about Lake Holiday? Grief. Tears are what happen when the ice in the heart melts. That's in reverse. Let me get another card to see what that's about. Loss. Reverse. Sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate Invention for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the ego. Whoa. So I take that as there's something going on about a her at Lake Holiday. Somebody's being cold hearted. It looks like to me somebody's not afraid to lose something here. So somebody is trying to offer something that can really make somebody have grief. So this offering could actually cause grief to someone's life as of right now. This can actually cause a loss or can lose someone's heart. By what they're doing. Offering something. And her child is in reverse. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. So grief, loss, and inner child. So this may have to do with a child. Giving to something else is what I get the feeling of. There's going to be loss here. Grief in reverse and loss and in inner child. I don't know. Receiver or receiving. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan. To trust your inner guidance. That's in reverse. So grief, loss, inner child, and receiving. So it looks like to me somebody is receiving love, attention. That they might lose something in the end. Ease. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Which ease is in reverse. That's a lot of reversals. Nothing is coming at ease. So someone could be feeling that what they're doing is going to cause grief of loss. So there's an offering that you don't know about or there's an offering that somebody is going to lose something here. And it looks like to me somebody cannot be at ease for receiving. So somebody's receiving love elsewhere that they feel grief and they know that there's loss or maybe something happened. That you don't know about. That somebody. Sacrifice. Sometimes surrender. Is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions. Obsessions. Addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Yeah it looks like to me. Somebody's going to be put in grief. For trying to sacrifice. Obsession. Looks like to me there's something happening here that does not look too good right now. 
courage is in reverse. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. So somebody is encouraging someone to do something that's going to cause grief. It's going to cause loss. They are receiving love and care. They are not sacrificing their obsession. So somebody's not sacrificing something. Looks like to me somebody is sacrificing and have the courage to sacrifice love. Because love is in reverse. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. So it looks like to me somebody is literally doing something that they are getting love elsewhere. And their heart is really burdened and they are afraid that you're going to find out. That they got love elsewhere and self-love is in reverse. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like I never before. So it looks like to me somebody is doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. And it looks like that they're not taking care of their self. They're taking care of everybody else to try to make sure that everybody is loved. And they're sacrificing their self. And then uh, reframe, reverse. This is happening for me, not to me. So this is receiving gifts. And then faith is in reversed. Mark you miracle Amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening to me to receive beyond anything I imagined. So this is all in reversed. And faith. Somebody doesn't have the faith because if you got grief, loss here and sacrifice and love somebody is literally not having the faith to get away with something here and then the white cards wanted to show so watch your words and be careful what you wish for you have every right to snap for a good reason only if it needs to be a new lover yeah so that's exactly why this is all in reversed because there's a new lover in the mix that you do not know about. And somebody needs to be, so they need to watch their words and be careful what they wish for. Because it's going to cause a loss. And that's the sacrifice that they are knowing why you are snapping is because they're being told that they will lose everything by trying to have a new lover elsewhere. And they are trying to receive something here. That's what the sacrifice is. They are obsessed with new lovers. So they're not careful with what they're doing in the atmosphere. Like they are people pleasing and the faith is in reverse. So somebody's literally losing the faith. People getting mad of getting caught by spiritual people. Someone's got some secrets that issues and secret fantasies they have of you. So there could be a situation at Lake Holiday that since, you know, it's not in town. Like I said, I always keep picking up on something and my intuition usually does not lie to me. That they're mad because they're getting caught. They are getting, they're sacrificing. They're going to sacrifice something. And it's going to really put somebody in grief. Over because of what they're doing. And yeah, they're literally having secret fantasies elsewhere of another person. Can I get one more card? Someone is about to go to jail because of fighting. Fighting. 
Divine Masculine feels bad for getting his Divine Feminine in danger because of his actions with crazy fake ass karmics, low standard, crazy fucking bitches. So this male is literally dealing with other people. It looks like to me they're afraid of getting caught. They know that they are torn. They are acting funny. They are acting goofy. They do not feel at ease. And they know they're about to receiving some type of karma. They're going to receiving a grief and a loss because they can't sacrifice new people like they cannot they can't resist the urges and they cannot drop any fantasies they got so anybody for whoever they're out with they don't question the behavior of others karma will be at play okay so that card wanted to pop out like i didn't i didn't even touch it looks like the card wanted to creep out so i'm going to take it yeah that's that's pretty much what they are afraid of. They are afraid that you know that they are dealing with the new lovers. They don't want you to know this and they know they're going to receiving loss and grief because they have obsessions. Their courage is literally going to ruin something and this is actually Teaching someone that this is happening for me, not to me. Meaning, Spirit wants you to understand that they're trying to show you something. That it looks like it's about to happen. That they are dealing with very low standard people, karmics. That they are pretty much your masculine is literally trying to put you in danger because of other people of who they are dealing with. They are causing you problems with new lovers. So that's why, so watch your words and be careful what you wish for. Is because it seems like to me their new lovers are not careful by what they speak. So they could be speaking ill. They could be trying to say that you deserve grief, that you deserve loss, that they they deserve them, that they don't deserve you. They're literally not, like literally the karmics will literally keep them in obsession and let them do toxic things. So they're going down a very nasty road that can cause issues, all right? This will literally cause something and it's going to turn somebody really cold in the end. And they know faith can also mean maybe somebody's not being faithful. Nobody really has faith in an individual no more. And that's really sad. The ancestors are saying there is no faith and hope with an individual who keeps wanting to go out here and start stuff. Then we got another card. Had an affair and got caught. Oh, so that's what happened. That's what they're afraid of that coming out. That they got caught of having an affair at Lake Holiday. With very disrespectful people. Hmm. Let me see. Is there anything else, Spirit, you want me to know? Is there anything else you want me to know? And uh, this is actually happening for me, not to me. So Spirit wants you to understand that this is giving you intuitive messages that the issue is not you. It is the individual. Like they got really toxic energies and they are getting mad because you know who they are around with. But Spirit is also saying don't question their behavior because they will receive karma. 
That's why they can't be at ease. Because they know that you do not have faith. And the ancestors are really saying that's a really hard pill to swallow. Because if you really used to trust an individual, you don't trust them now. Because the energy flow is saying they have a new lover. That that's why they're going in town and out of town. Because that's what they're doing. Because they got caught. That's pretty sad. At that too. And then you got the Divine Matrix. Smoke and mirrors. Feeling the world beyond the ordinary. And a tall tale. And the Oracle Gift. And at the bottom of the deck we got Let Go. So this may really erupt somebody's emotional state. But Spirit is kind of telling you something. That you may have to let go of this individual because they're not going to change. And I said something that if an individual did not knock it off, God was going to step in and somebody was going to learn eventually. So Divine Matrix, the realm of spirit that acknowledge that we are all divine beings, part of a tapestry weaving our dreams into the fabric of reality synchronicities learning to trust the way things unfold yeah so that so that's pretty much what spirit was telling you that let things unfold by itself this person is unfolding they're not acting right they act like they're stressed out because they're afraid of losing you over because they had an affair. Because you have the knowledge that you understand you're getting too many synchronicities. Meaning like you are starting to see patterns of someone who had an affair and gets caught too much. Spirit is saying that. That let things unfold. These people, whoever had an affair, that's why they are nervous. That's why they're having a hard time receiving karma. They are receiving their stuff going back to them. Their courage literally got them karma. Their courage was thinking that you would never find this out. But spirit did. You have felt this about why are they always gone? Why are they always talking about different people? Why are they acting so stressed out? That's why. Because they got secret fantasies elsewhere. They are attracted to other people. And yes, Spirit says you do have a right to snap. If it's for a good reason. And pretty much Spirit is telling you... That you have a right to be upset. And these people should have watched their words and been careful what they wish for. So pretty much for whoever they were dealing with. They were trying to keep it on the down low. That they were probably saying they're not toxic. Or you don't know what they've been saying to one another. You don't know. But their shit is unfolding. That's why they don't have faith. Like, all these cards are in reversed. That is the first time I've ever had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards that were in reversed. That means it's not working out. They are fearful of losing you. They are fearing of having grief of you catching them coming unfolding. You will know by their actions. Let's go to 42 real quick. About smoke in the mirror. So smoke and mirrors. Seeing through the lens of past conditioning. The inability to recognize the truth of what is being offered. Healing from misguided perceptions. Moving beyond the illusion of separation. Being accountable for your biases 
and the way you view the world. So this is telling me that spirit is telling you that this person is unfolding because they are causing separation. They are causing wanting to offer love to everybody and anybody, offer affairs. They are misguiding perceptions, but the illusion part is that they're in smoke and mirrors where their mind is just thinking about toxic obsession behaviors, wanting new love, pretty much being attention held. It's pretty much what's going on so far. Let's go to 13 real quick. Spirit was not playing with these individuals. And he made that clear. Feeling the world. Sensitivity to the feelings of others. Awareness of the whole world. And bored. Barred. Perception, empathy, overload, and overwhelming. Or overwhelm. Yeah, so that's pretty, that's pretty much what spirit is telling you. That your person is unfolding in front of your eyes. You really got to pay attention to past conditioning. Meaning how the way they act. Their past, they don't have empathy. Like they are so conflicted that you're going to find out. That you know they are unfolding. You recognize the truth. Of what is being offered. So yeah. This is actually why they are nervous. This is why they can't relax. Because you know they are offering. A new lover stuff. They are offering love. They are offering. Self love. Meaning they are taking away. Their own power. And they know. They took away. Your faith. Because you know. Because they are over overloaded or overload and overwhelmed. Because you know what's been going on the whole entire time. Why they don't want to be home. Why do they keep running into people? Why do they keep getting accused of things? Why do they keep doing patterns? The ancestors warned some of these divine masculines, if they didn't knock it off, it was going to get revealed. Whether they liked it or not, they are starting to unfold. Because maybe in their heart, they can't stand the fact that one of these days you're just going to let go. That they're going to be in loss because of their addictions. Because they were letting karmics damage them. Or this individual is purposely putting your life in danger because you don't know who the hell they're dealing with. So yeah, the ancestor said, told you. So there you go. Then let's go to 45 real quick. Forty-five. Yeah, spirit of gratitude. The pros prospering power of prayer. Communion with the divine. Experiencing deep gratitude as you move through the world. Knowing that your prayers will be answered exactly as they are meant to be. So letting it unfold, they are so overwhelmed that they know that you are going to get a download about their behaviors, why they are gone, why are they so overwhelmed, why are they so stressed out, that's why. Because they know that the divine is answering your prayers, that you are getting answers or answered Exactly as it meant to be, like in divine timing. The ancestors and God has warned people to stop doing 
their toxicity or they were going to be exposed. Now, I really truthfully don't think God really likes to do this to people. But this is going to teach somebody. And this is also helping others to understand why a person's acting goofy. This is why. Okay. A tall tale. Denial. Concealing the truth so you can manipulate and control a situation. Fear-based communication. Creating a narrative to hide behind. Not allowing the fear of what others will think to influence your words. Learning to communicate from a place of authenticity. So yeah, pretty much you're, you're not putting nobody down. Spirit is saying that you are speaking facts. That you know, you know the person's in denial of the truth. You know there's manipulation going on. And you know somebody is trying to control a situation of trying to hide out of fear. Oh yeah, so that's what it is. When somebody is in fear-based, they're communicating or communicationing with what you know about. And they didn't want you to know this, but they're communicating of the fact of that you know that they are hiding truth. They are hiding behind denial. They are hiding of manipulating and trying to control a situation so they wouldn't get caught. So this could be a person who is very like a falsehood spoken because it doesn't feel grounded when you lie. So yeah, the individual's energy, like the ancestors and God is trying to show you that an individual has a falsehood, a false self, and does not feel grounded when they lie. So they are an habitual liar. They are a narcissist. Let's go to 37 real quick. This is you just speaking your thoughts and speaking your mind. This is not you trying to tear somebody down. This is you understanding the truth. This is actually downloads. And this is what they are scared of that you are going to find out. They are going out of town, always not wanting to be home, is because of that. They are lying to you on where they are going. And they know you are going to find this out. And that's when they get enraged. When you know something is not right. So when, when they know they can no longer manipulate you, that you know they can't lie to you, and you know something is up, you are getting the answers that you need. So the oracle's gift, second sight, clairvoyancy, seeing the future, fate has a future, determined by the choices you make now, seeing the signs around you, recognizing potentials versus absolute determinism. So that means you are seeing the truth, you are getting the truth, and you know this person's future is nothing but a liar. Like, that's why their faith is in reverse, because they know they can't be faithful. They know that you are, their choices is going to affect them. That's why there's grief in the heart, loss, that you know that they are lying to you. Not telling you the truth. They are in denial. Like they are going to be so in denial. That they've had multiple affairs. And got caught behind your back. They've had multiple people. That they have went to. To have an attention. This is an attention seeking person. This is a attention seeking. Of thinking. Like somebody's literally trying to prove a point to you. But they're just hurting their selves. That's why they are unfolding. That's why they probably can't stand to be around you. This is probably why they can't stand the fact that they know that you are pulling away. Your energy is literally letting go. They can't stand that. So their actions 
have consequences. And it says, don't question their, yeah, don't question the behavior of others. Karma will be at play. Send back to sender. This person cannot handle the fact that you might actually be letting go of their connection to you. That you are pretty much letting go. Because you know that these people are going to get caught up. So this is others helping an individual to leave you. But now it's haunting them. History. At that too. I want to look up 20, 24. Why did I say 27? That's weird. I always do that every time I do a reading. I don't know why. Uh, 24. Yeah, let it go. Forgiveness, healing, resentment. Shedding all the rule of the eternal martyr. Letting go of victimhood. Cutting the ties that bend you to a destructive story. Releasing pain so you can move into the lessons it offers. Re relinquishing the need to be right so that means from what i'm getting this person is literally trying to make you look like an idiot this person was literally trying to say they didn't have new lovers that they did not cheat on you it looks like to me they cannot lie to you much longer so this individual has been lying to you if they say they're going here they're going elsewhere if they're saying that they don't have anybody they do not. They're not cheating on you. They're not treating you like crap. They're not doing this. They're going here. They're lying to you. That's what Spirit just revealed. These, these people are literally unfolding. And they cannot handle it coming back. Because they are dealing with karmics. That are very nasty. And yeah, they know that... You are letting go because you don't have resentment. You don't have jealous. You knew something was up. So people getting mad of getting caught by spiritual people. Usually spiritual people don't have much hate in their heart. But yeah, they'll be upset with you and feel very disappointed. Because we know you're lying. We know that you are holding resentment of what you are doing. They're playing victim. And they know you're cutting the ties. Meaning you're still with the individual. But you're cutting some type of cord. That this person can no longer hurt you. Because they're hurting their self. That's pretty much what's going on. Why? That's why they don't want to be home. They could be lying to these new lovers about you. But everything is unfolding on them. Because they're dealing with people who are liars. They are dealing with toxic people. And new lovers. And they're going to be put in grief really soon. You know what I mean? And also there could be people who doubted you. And what you were saying. What you were catching on to. People could have been lying for the individual too. So if you had any type of gut feeling or you knew something and someone got mad at you, it's because you were right. And others can't believe that you were right too. And uh, I kind of noticed on my YouTube channel, there's not much women following me as much anymore. Because half the females, I believe, were watching my YouTube got caught. Now, there's more males watching me than females. So, that tells me right there that most of the females got caught and have an affair with uh, people who they know they shouldn't have. And that kind of that kind of blew my mind there for a minute because I had all females watching me until I started calling out certain things some of the females had a part in having an affair 
And I started calling some people out. Half the females that were watching my YouTube quit watching me because they got irritated at the fact that they're unfolding too. They got mad because they knew I was right. That I didn't have to be told anything. I already knew. Like these, like half, half of these women didn't have to tell me nothing. And uh, they also know what's been going on too. So that's also what caught my attention as well. So if I used to have a whole bunch of females watch me. And there's slowly women not watching me as much anymore. Is because they know that they're caught too. And this could be going on for years. Of what's been going on. And that's why it said, people getting mad of getting caught by spiritual people. It's because people are making deals, making contracts, doing very toxic things that are not okay in the energy flow. These people literally thought that they were getting away with it. But that's what I'm saying, though, that that explains a lot because it's not normal for a person to say, well, I'm getting accused too much of cheating. Well, what have they done? What have they done to get caught or get accused too much? What have they done? They've had girls possibly run in their mouths. And they got caught. Yeah, travel. So, yeah. They are travel. Traveling. Trying to... So, like I said, it's in town and out of town. I've actually done readings on this multiple times. They are traveling. In town or out of town. To new lovers. And they're mad because they get caught. That's pretty much what it is. But you got justice. Judgment call. Yep. And it's and it's about a home. Somebody's literally going to risk. Having a home life. To have a relationship. I'm going to leave that out here. So yeah. Someone could be letting go. Of the fact of somebody else is going into somebody else's home and pulling stuff. That's doing it behind closed doors. So somebody's literally doing something they're not supposed to be doing. Yep. Then we got strength. So somebody thinks they have the strength to travel and try to get freedom. But truthfully... What are they trying to get freedom of? Because it looks like to me that's a reverse psychology right there. Yeah. Justice and transformation. Meaning that your psychic abilities are getting more stronger. And they're traveling to get compassion elsewhere at a home. That's, that's pretty much what's been going on. Yeah. Light, lighten your load. Yeah, so whenever these people were trying to lie to you, fib to you, trying to talk smack, whatever, trying to tell you that you need proof, no you don't. Because they're upset because your load is lightened. Their load is really tearing down on them as of right now. Their load is so heavy on them, there is no light here. Lighten your load. The ancestors are coming in to make burdens, whatever somebody's trying to make you feel, whatever they're trying to prove a point to, however they're trying to hurt you. All this is being lifted. It's beaten. It's being lightened your load, meaning to where it's not so much burden. Somebody was literally trying to make you think that you were the one who were doing stuff when it's really truthfully them. Because uh, why would they want to travel in town or out of town? Why do they always want to meet up with people? Why do they always want to 
go to different homes? Why are they bringing compassion everywhere and anywhere they go? Travel is because they feel like the individual is giving them strength. But truthfully, what's really truthfully going on, they're taking away their own freedom. They are taking away their own strength. So there are some people out here who are weakening these divine masculines. They are weakening them to where it's going to really screw up a home. It is going to ruin a love life. And then we got a card at the... Oh, you got... Oh, let me try to... Well, dang. I don't know how this is going to fit. Alright, so we got Faith in Reverse. Like I said, and then you got, like, literally, like, Spirit is literally touching my cards. There's about two in Reverse. So, Outrageous Openings. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprises and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open to receive it. So it looks like to me that somebody is trying to release something of attachments so like i said this person cannot let go of negative attachments or obsessions that's the sacrifice card yeah cutting away all that needs to go illusion mind fuckery reverse psychology lying not telling you the truth obsessions addictions so yeah that that's where the problem is as of right now they are not wanting to sacrifice their addictions. That's why they keep getting caught. This is where the grief is going to come in. Because they're tired of getting caught. They are tired of you, pretty much, is what Spirit is saying. Or unless you're going to have enough and they're not liking it that you are asking for divine justice. Because you know something is not right and you know something is not fair. So that's why justice is out here to don't question the behavior of others. Karma will be at play because they are dealing with others who they are having a hard time letting go of. So meaning they have really bad attachments that they need to let go of. And they're not going to do it. And it's, go it's going to cost them a price. So divine flow. Eventually, one sublim desire takes precedence over all others to flow the tail, the divine flow at all costs. That's also in reverse. So, like I said, this is going to cause somebody something. It's going to cause them to lose everything. That this flow of them being so negative that cannot let go of negative attachments. Of trying to think they got to please everybody or be a people pleaser. Or trying to love everybody and anybody and treat somebody else like crap that you don't know about. This is their flow and this is their fate. Pretty much somebody saying that an individual is never going to change. <sighs> And this is really sad as of right now. I hear a female talking at this time. There's a female is talking like she is upset or she's talking really soft as of right now. Or I hear arguing at that too. As of right now, as I'm doing a reading. Yeah, tender embrace. Tender embrace means be patient with an individual. But uh, somebody, I truthfully don't see anybody having the patience at this time. For anybody who causes fertility. And your spirit guides are here. Trust that you are protected and you will have prosperity. 
Yeah, so you got fertility, meaning having affairs, doing stuff they're not supposed to be doing. Trust in what your spirit guides are telling you because you are protected at this time, meaning you are protected from the hurt and lies and pain, but they're not protected from what they are doing. You're protected. They're not. Because this is saying that the person is going to keep having affairs. This person's going to keep, like they cannot drop that. Meaning they have a mindset of wanting to be single still. And they don't know how to settle down. And they literally think by lying, it's going to help them. No, it's only going to make it worse for their self. This is what they do not comprehend. Spirit does not play when it comes to this. Because they know that if you have been faithful and someone's not, they will warn these people to knock it off. If not, they're going to be exposed. That's how spirit works. Like I said, I'm hearing a female arguing or getting upset at this time. Or maybe she could hear me telepathy as of right now. Or unless maybe they're arguing at the fact that maybe, maybe she knows she's getting karma and she don't know where the hell it's coming from. She's getting mad at him because maybe she saw the marks and she don't know where it came from. Like I said, there's just too much here. That somebody is literally lying about the marks. That's what it is. Is somebody having an affair too much and they're lying and they've been caught of having fertility. That's probably what ticked off that female. Because when you have multiple people at once, it's going to cause somebody stress. And, yeah, it might end up somebody that have a heart attack, but you want to know something else? That's their problem. They caused it. They got to deal with it, you know. Like I said, I keep, I keep hearing too much of people having intimacy, telepathy. I keep hearing it too much. And that's not normal for... You have to sit, like, you're literally minding your own business, you know, like, your mind's so clear, right? Like I said, I was doing a reading, and then when I got to fertility and spirit and trust and protection, I heard a female talking. So that means the lake holiday was probably not about work today. It was probably not about that. It was probably about fertility and affair or maybe she knows she's caught. She knows that somebody has caught them in the act. There are eyes and ears everywhere. And even in the spiritual community, God knows all and sees all. And that could possibly be ticking her off. That why is he not being faithful? So that means there's multiple lovers that he's dealing with. And having compassion for. To, you know what I mean? That's why I said it is kind of comical. How most of these women quit watching me. So that tells me right there. Hmm, in an odd strange way. That they know that they're caught. And it's probably because they don't want to deal with the consequences. Well, that's a little bit too late there. That's a little bit too late for that category to go out the door. Spirit's already caught it. So somebody's going to have to deal with their consequences. You want to keep lying. You want to keep trying to mine screw somebody who is very intuitive, who is clairvoyant, you're not going to be able to because they can see past, present, and future. It looks like to me somebody is not going to change how the way they are. Let me see. 
what messages do you got? What other messages do you got for this divine masculine trying to act up? Ooh, you got the king of air that tried to knock out fertility and spirit guide and trust. Okay, king of air, intelligent, important, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded, public speaking communication clearly, unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable. Yep. This is saying that this is why somebody is unemotional in their relationship and being unavailable. So this is pretty much saying that somebody is betraying you on purpose. Somebody is literally doing something to try to upset you. This is why they're grown cold. This is why they don't really want to be around you. This is why... They are feeling the way that they are. They don't understand it. But Spirit's telling you this is happening for you, not to you. So Spirit really wants you to pay attention. Your Spirit Guides are telling you that they may not like you public speaking about any type of relationships. Or this could be taking off the individual who's watching my YouTube because they know the truth is coming out. About betrayals. Alright. That could be a possibility. And then yeah we got the wise counsel. Unity with spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help. And trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas. To see which is best for you. So yeah these people might be very angry. Because you are doing what's best for you. And they don't like that. That uh, somebody thinks that the... Like, uh, literally, somebody thinks by betraying you is the best choice. They literally think by being unemotional towards you or emotionally unavailable. Somebody literally thinks that th this is the best thing to do. And it's truthfully not... Yeah, you, then you got the high priestess. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. So this is saying that you need to trust yourself. This is not the time to take action. This is a time to develop your intuition in your gifts. Of what you know. And then you got the strength. At the bottom of the deck. Personal power. Assertiveness. Portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings. About forgiveness. Realizing that you're stronger. Than you know. So yeah. Somebody literally thinks that you're weak. This is why somebody is attacking your relationship or somebody is literally trying to underestimate you. Because they think that you are not strong enough to deal with this betrayal. Not strong enough with your intuition. Or it could be the fact that maybe they feel... They don't have the strength to deal with you because they know that you are stronger than them. Yeah. That says a lot. Right there. You are stronger. Than these people. And they don't like it. How you are very intuitive. How you listen. To your higher self. How you listen. To your spirit guides. And how they are guiding you. And what you are feeling. So this is pretty much saying that. Somebody does not like it. How you are picking up on betrayals. They do not like how you are getting justice while they get karma. Gonna have to deal with their boo-hoo and story. Their falsehood. 
them playing victim to know what they've done and what they've caused in the ethers. So this is telling me somebody's literally trying to play at a game that is very dangerous. Somebody's literally going to play around and it's going to get to the wrong individual and somebody is going to literally flip out. Somebody literally thinks that this is cute of messing with your emotional state or this or see this is how it happens when you know you're in a relationship and somebody is literally distant from you when you try to show them attention like th this person is literally showing you that they want they want to spend time with everybody else they do not have the emotional time for you they do not have the emotional time to have a relationship with you and they're emotionally unavailable, but they're available for everybody else. And they're starting to know that you are noticing that. That's also why they possibly can't handle what you know. These cards are all in reverse for the first deck that I've done. Let me see. What do the unspoken messages have to do with people trying to act up, trying to act froggy? Yeah, separation's killing me. I'm hurt with you. Yeah, so their separation is saying, so your intuition's on point. They are lying to you, saying that they're not doing anything, they're not cheating on you, but they miss their hugs and kisses. Yeah, and then ju just let me go. So somebody's getting to a point to where they're about to, yeah, I'm not ready so, literally, someone is just using you uh, until, until they're actually ready to go with another individual. Or they're not ready to tell you the truth. To knock off their crap. And then we got a magic connection to purposely ignoring you. That is exactly what that card just stated. The wise counselor saying, trust your intuition that... If you are in a relationship, they should never purposely be ignoring you. It's because they're getting attention elsewhere. They are getting love elsewhere because they don't care to lose what they have. They don't care if they lose you over a nasty karmic. They don't care if they're lying to you. They don't care if you're seeing it. They don't care how you feel about it. They are literally unfolding themselves to you. Yeah. There's a fuck buddy. They got fuck buddies and they're doing black magic. So how do I not know that they're not the ones trying to make me sick and is attacking me. And they're just playing stupid about it. How do I not know that? Yeah, please reach out sexually need you yeah so that pretty yeah that's pretty much what it is they want their cake they want to have their freedom wishing on a star so somebody was literally wishing on a star that you would not find this out or they're wishing on a star that you would just let them go because they're tired of you calling them out they are tired of you being right. They are tired of your theories turning out to be true. That's why some people are literally upset and frustrated at the fact that you were right. That you didn't have to have proof. It's a person's actions. When anybody seriously is unemotionally available or don't want to have time with you and always want to be gone and help with others... Or want to be around others all the time. And don't want to really have time for you. You know that's. A, you know that kind of gives it away. That they are. And they're having dreams. About this. There's meditation. Let me see what else is there. Yeah. Answer prayer. So, yeah, this actually answered somebody's prayer that maybe somebody was wanting to answer prayer to why they feel like they do or why are they having dreams of why 
are they having problems, it's because they are not making you a priority. They're making everybody else a priority. And black magic could also mean controlling them through anything. Yeah, your, um, your ancestors and God's soldiers are focusing on who is doing the black magic, who is causing the problems with the liars and the fuck buddy. They're going to be getting karma too. Yeah, you're more focused on your peace and serenity at this time. You're not much caring about what they're doing. You're more caring about your serenity and you staying in your power of not letting these people control you. Like, that's, par that's probably what they're mad about too is because you have serenity. You are staying in your power and you have balance to you. That's what's probably pissing these people off. They do not know how to balance themselves out. They don't. They don't know how to do this. They're, the only thing they're trying to balance out is trying to balance out their lies and they can't. Balance, I take it as Libra. Karma, justice. Listen to your higher self. Trust of what you're being told. Yeah, then you've got Ark Michael out here. Ready to protect. He is protecting you from whoever who cannot surrender or release this nasty attention that they have. They cannot release or surrender to whatever's going on here. The cheating. The F buddies. Somebody not being true to you and always being true to everybody else but treating you like crap. It's pretty much what's going on here. Yep, new lover. They're, they're not surrendering the new lovers and their life. That's why they are unfolding. This is why they are anxious and overwhelmed. Because your intuition knows about these new lovers and the F buddies that they are messing around with. You know that they are reaching out to them. You know what's going on because they are enchantment. Meaning they are being controlled by desire. That they are pretty much going to be put in grief and loss. That pretty much they don't, they don't want to lose anything with you. But this is their fate. They are enchantment, meaning they are not physically here. They are in a really weird state of mind where they don't like your intuition being correct. You are going to be taking off a lot of people here really soon. You are going to be ticking off and triggering a lot of people for whoever, for whoever these people are. There's a Taurus, there's an air sign, there's earth sign, air sign, air sign means betrayal. So they don't want you to know that they are betraying you behind your back, but you already knew. You knew within your bones that they were betraying you all this time. You knew it. And they were so blinded and thinking you didn't know. So anytime, if anybody gets to a point to where they don't really want to be around you or not available for you, it's because they're getting attention elsewhere. That's what it is. Yeah, so they really can't be mad at you. They're going to have to be mad at themselves. So we got the Knight of Wands in reverse. So they're going to have to be mad at themselves. Because they've done this to themselves. Yeah, they're, they really can't be mad at the Queen of Wands. They're going to have to be mad at themselves because of what they pulled. Yep, they're going to have to be mad at themselves because they brought you burden. They tried to bring the Queen of Wands burdens. And the tower hit. That's why they're feeling unfolded. Their emotions, how the way they've done you for a very long time. And I take it as they were doing this for years. I feel like they've been doing this for years on you. 
and there is communication there is communication coming up so communication that yeah eight of pentacles is working with people others trying to gossip about you trying to be petty and also the queen of swords is also cutting somebody off that's actually what they're mad about they're gonna have this is their consequences they cut you off for something that is really really their deception like they were working with others to try to get it to where they try to bring you the tower and that's the communication getting out they had others to help and also the queen of swords is also somebody that likes to run their mouth too much somebody who likes to be petty but also at that too there's communication and the energy flow that it looks like to me <clears throat> that somebody's going to stand firm in their power they're focused on cutting off people who are working with others so pretty much the ancestors are saying the knight of wands in reverse you have no right to be angry at the queen of wands you have no right to be angry because you did it to yourself you brought yourselves burdens you brought yourselves the tower by communicating that's why it says so watch your words and be careful what you wish for they were working with others they were working with new lovers they know they got caught and had an affair but uh this is all i got hope you guys have a nice day